Hey crochet friends, I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in on how to crochet the awesome Dragon Ball coasters. Now, if you just want a circle coaster that's not Dragon Ball, keep watching. This is still how you make it. If you want it to be Dragon Balls, you just need craft felt. So in the craft section, you need a pen and fabric tack, but for the rest, it's still your sewing needle, a five millimeter H hook, and just scissors and medium weight yarn in orange. All right, so Goku and Piccolo are gonna hang out with us in this video. So give yourself about four or five inches. You're gonna make a magic ring. And to do that, you lay the yarn over your pointer and middle finger and hold it down with your thumb. And you're just gonna wrap the yarn around one time and cross over. Hold that with your thumb and turn your left hand and then hold the yarn with your pinky and ring finger so that you can let this hand go. You have two loops on your fingers. Take your crochet hook, go under the first, over the second, pull it through, take your middle finger out and at the same time turn your hook upward. So middle fingers out. Now put your middle finger under the working yarn. Wrap that yarn around one time and pull through the loop that's on your hook. Like so. I can do it one more time. Give yourself about four or five inches. Lay that with your pointer and middle finger facing out and hold the yarn just with your thumb. Now Wrap your yarn around one time, cross over, hold that, turn your left hand. Now grab this yarn with your ring and pinky so that you can let this hand go. Now take your crochet hook, go under the first loop, over the second loop, pull through, turn your crochet hook up, take your middle finger out of that hole like so. Take your middle finger and grab that working yarn. Wrap your yarn around one time and go through the loop that's on your hook. And that is how you do a magic ring. All right, so to begin, you're going to chain one. Because I consider that first loop a chain, so you would be chaining two and you only needed one more. So just chain one. And to begin, you're going to do 12 double crochets in this magic ring. So you yarn over first, go in to the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And you're going to do 11 more. So you do not count your chain two as a double crochet. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have to make 10 more. And this is my last one. 12. Now you pull this tail, it'll close the middle like so if you pull on it and you can sew it in later. Now you're going to slip stitch in your first double crochet. So this is a chain one, chain two. That's your first double crochet. That's the top of your first double crochet. So you're going to go in that like so, wrap your yarn around, pull through and pull through, and that's a slip stitch. Now you're gonna chain two, one, two, and in that same stitch, you're gonna do two double crochets. You do not count your chain two ever as a double crochet. So whenever I say make a certain amount of double crochets around, you don't count what you just did. 
Chain two doesn't count as a double crochet. So yarn over and do two double crochets in this same hole right here. Right beside each other in the same exact space. So you just did two double crochets and in every single chain, you're gonna do two double crochets. And you should end up with 24 double crochets not counting this chain two. Twenty three and twenty four. Okay, so now you're going to slip stitch in your first double crochet. That's your chain two. This is your first double crochet. So go in that, wrap your yarn around, pull through, and pull through. And if you have a hard time counting, when you do your first double crochet, you can put a stitch marker in it. That way you will know what is your chain two and what is your actual stitch. Now you chain two to start row three, one, two, now, in that same stitch, you're going to do two double crochets, just like before. One, two, and in the next stitch, only one double crochet. In the next stitch, two double crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch one double crochet and you do this all the way around and you will end up with 36 stitches and you should end on a one double crochet if you're doing it correctly so if you're ending on two double crochets you messed up somehow so just go back make sure you're getting 36 stitches and you're ending on one double crochet so the next stitch is two double crochets in the same stitch. One double crochet in the next. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next. And just keep doing that pattern. Two, one, two, one, two, one all the way around. Okay, and towards the end, I did two double crochets and I have one more stitch for the one double crochet. So that's how I know I did it correctly. And that's how you should be ending yours. And there's 36 double crochets when you did your first double crochet, if you have a stitch marker in it already, then you don't even have to figure out what's your chain two and what's your first stitch. So you would just take your stitch marker out, go in with your slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, pull through. Chain two. And your fourth and final row, because it's just so easy and fast to whip up, you do two double crochets in your same first stitch and right here is where you'd put your stitch marker if you wanted to. That was your first double crochet. This is your second double crochet. Now in the next two stitches do one double crochet in each stitch. There was one in the next stitch, do one double crochet as well. And that's your grouping, two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet in the next two stitches, two double crochets in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next two stitches. 
one, two, two double crochet in the next stitch. one double crochet in the next two stitches and just keep doing that all the way around and you will have 48 total double crochets not counting your chain two at the beginning and you should end in a grouping of the two double crochets in one stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches and that would be your last stitch the second one double crochet will be all the way over here and that's how you know you're doing it right and I will meet you there. Okay I'm towards the end and I have one two three stitches so my last grouping of two double crochets in the same stitch, one double crochet in the next, and one double crochet in the next. That's how you should be ending. So hopefully that made sense. And then you slip stitch to your first double crochet. And if you put your stitch marker there, it's easy peasy to see. Pull through, chain one, pull through, and then give yourself enough to weave in because you are done with the actual coaster part. Okay, so I put it on my needle and let me zoom in a little bit. Now the magic ring goes in this direction with the yarn. So I need to go back in this direction first. So just go under loops in that direction, in the opposite direction. So it's coming out from underneath this loop. So I know it needs to go back that way. And that's just how you lock it in place because it's going in a completely different direction. Now spin it, keep going in that opposite direction like so. And now go back in the other direction because a magic ring can unravel. So you really want to make sure that it is not going to unravel and it's secure. And by doing this, it's not going to unravel. And then you just keep going back and forth and then you're good. That's how you do this one for the magic ring. Now you're ready to weave in the other one. Flip it over and then just start weaving it in all directions. That way, this also won't come out. And when you're all done with that, if you just wanted a flat circle coaster, you're ready to go. If you wanted a Dragon Ball coaster, now you move on to the next step. So with your felt and pin, just make some small stars and cut them out. That's the finicky part. And however many stars you want for whatever Dragon Ball, if you wanna do seven coasters, then you just need one, two, three, four, five, six, 28 stars in total. If you want to do all seven, 
All right, so I'm gonna make another four star Dragon Ball. And this is where you need your fabric tack. So any fabric glue will work. And after you've placed your stars where you want them, just put a dab of glue and kind of like move it around. Just brush it like so. And then you just place it, press down, and then just do that for all of your stars. I've been using my fabric tag. And you don't need a lot. And if it ever starts to do this, just wipe off the tip of it and open your cap. It will release that pressure of it still pushing the glue to the, to the tip. That's why you don't have to put too much glue on it because it's just going to keep coming out. And you don't need to pull glue from this. Because see, like it's already coming for your next star. And that's all there is to it. You just let this dry before putting any kind of drink on it or before trying to stack them. And you're all done. Make sure to clean off your cap. Open your bottle before replacing this because you don't want glue spilling out and then you put this and then it seals. All right, guys, so that's all it takes to make super easy Dragon Ball coasters with one orange color yarn and some red felt and Fabri-Tac to glue them on. So just let them dry, and then you get to use them. Watch some Dragon Ball with your friends and family. Go find me on Facebook on Crochet Garden Repeat and tag me if you made these. I'd love to see them and how they turned out. Maybe you can customize yours in a different way. I'd love to see that. And just keep a lookout for my next Dragon Ball video and any other videos I'm going to post. So don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to know when I post something new and share it with all your friends and have fun crocheting your Dragon Ball coasters. Bye crochet friends.